Hi, I'm Robert. You're watching Day Bird Aviary. The goats are going crazy. <laughs> So in today's video, I want to talk to you about the top five things that I hear that I think are myths concerning goats. How am I supposed to milk like this? Get up. Get up, you big heifer. Would you look at that? How am I supposed to do what I'm supposed to do, Rosalina? You're supposed to be the good one. Parsley's the bad one. Get up. Rosalina, you big cow, get up. Here, get up. Stand up. There you go. You crazy, lazy goat. So now the goal is to get parsley out and up on the milk stand. That was easy. And now get Rosalina off. Come on. Well, that's not going to happen. We'll just go ahead, sit back down, and we'll go ahead and milk. Oh, carrot! Luna carrots. You're in the way. Luna carrots. You got you got to go back down, sweetie. Go back down. All the way down, sweetie. Well, there she goes. She could have just stepped off and walked in. Captain, bought that back, please. Okay. What do you have in your hand? Head. What are you going to do with that? Head. Ginger does not want a kitten <laughs> riding on her head. That's too cute. Here. Here. Go put the kitten back with its mom. I have to milk parsley. The number one top myth that I hear is that goats will eat anything. Now, we all know that is absolutely not true. They're not going to eat a tin can. If anybody has... Now, myths number two and three deal with milk production of goats. I have heard someone say, and had people back her up in what she said, that when a mama goat is pregnant, that the... DNA, the genetic makeup of the baby inside the goat can cause the milk production of the mama goat to increase or decrease based upon the chromosomes that the baby goat inside the mommy's belly influences to the mommy. Does that make any sense? Like, Nubians are bred to be milk goats. Boar goats, like this little girl, are bred to be meat goats. If a boar goat bred my Nubian, the milk production would not be as high from my Nubian as it would possibly be if my Nubian was bred to another Nubian. Not that the genetics of the goat in milk are 100% in control with the amount of milk that is produced, but that the milk production of the kid, the baby goat inside the mommy, will actually influence milk production too. I don't know if that's true. I can be persuaded with science, but just hearsay, I find that hard, difficult to believe. What are you trying to do? Let go of her, baby. Now, what I'm going to call myth number three also deals with milk production, and particularly when a goat is in milk. Now, this is Luna Carrot. She has never been bred before. We're going to breed her maybe in another month, maybe two months, to, to Jojo, our little Nigerian dwarf. Now, she is actually three-quarters Nigerian dwarf, and so her babies, I think, that would be seven eighths Nigerian. I don't know. That's math. Anyhow, the myth is that when the mama goat is nursing her kid or kids, her baby goats, and you're milking her, that she can actually withhold some of the milk in her udder 
so that once you're finished milking that she can let the milk drop and the babies will have more to drink. Now this is commonly taught on YouTube by other homesteading families that practice what is called milk sharing where they take the goat kids away from the mom at night, keep them in a separate stall, milk the mama goat first thing in the morning, and then let the baby stay with mama all day until evening again. And they say that the mama goat will only produce a small amount of milk for them to milk because she knows that she's going to, to have to feed her babies. Again, I can be persuaded by science. I've never experienced it. I just find it hard to believe. What do you think? Do you think that is a myth or do you think that is the truth about goats? That goats can retain milk within their bodies and then they can drop more, more milk, drop milk later for their babies. I know that when my wife was nursing our children that she had absolutely no control over the flow of milk. I don't know. I just, I need some science to back it up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Yeah, it's mainly... Now, myth number four regards upkeep of goats. I have been told that... Goats are really easy to keep. All you gotta do is put a fence up, and they'll eat your weeds and eat your lawn. You know, eat your eat the grass in your lawn. Just use them as lawn mowers, and you know the further can think that that's the furthest from the truth of, of anything that you can possibly believe. The truth is, is that they do need good nutrition. I went over that with myth number one. Uh, but they require quite a bit of work, quite a bit of upkeep, quite a bit of care daily care now nubians i have two beautiful nubians there they're hiding luna carrot she's in the middle she's the little mini alpine i chose nubians not only because of their looks and because of, i was told that they produce really good milk which they do they're beautiful and they produce lots of really good high quality milk but i chose nubians because i was told they are parasite resistant they were bred to live in the south and to resist the parasites that we have here in our fields you know what i have found that not to be true whatsoever i have talked to other people uh, rose at wholesome roots and others and that just is not true i have had pygmies and nigerian dwarfs and boar goats and spanish goats i have had a kiko goat and i have had all kinds of crossbreed goats my opinion my experience nubians require the most diligence to keep them free from parasites. Now, it may just be the ones that I have have had. I have unfortunately lost goats in the past, and they have all been Nubians. Um, the meningeal worms were terrible, and I have lost Nubians before. Thankfully, now that I am on a good worming protocol, and I check the Famatra scores almost daily, and I give the preventative with the, the Granny's Best Herbal that I get from Amazon. Um, I just really don't have a big issue anymore, and I'll put links to that down in the description also. Absolutely love my Nubians. I will never be without a Nubian as long as I keep goats. Rosalina especially. She is... She is my... This is Rosalina. She's my sweetheart. She is five years old. She has persisted when others have gone on. And she is absolutely lovely. And when we have babies again, I'm going to keep all of her dolings because she has been resistant to whatever it is that we have here that have caused others not to, not to live. So let's move on to myth number
It is obviously breeding season. Luna carrots is in heat and cinnamon is in rut. Apologize about the bird noises, that's just life here on the farm. But this brings us to number five. I don't know if it's a myth or not, but I have heard that goats will breed through the fence. I just kind of doubt it. Maybe we're about to see. What do you think? Have you ever heard that goats can breed through the fence? Now Luna has over an acre that she can go and browse on, but she is right here next to him. We actually built this fence yesterday to keep him further away from the girls. I've turned them loose in here just to see the reaction. They haven't had access to this paddock. This, this area here has been where the boys have stayed. The girls have been in the front paddock. Of course, the boys and the girls, you know, they share a barn. So, what do y'all think? Number five, is it a myth or is it the truth? Can goats breed through a fence? I think he's willing to try. I don't want him to breed with her anyhow. I want her to breed... I want her to breed with Jojo. He's more interested in food than making babies right now. There's a five month gestation. This is the first day of fall, the autumn equinox. So it's September something. Catherine's yelling at Rosalina, and Jeremiah's yelling at Catherine. Rosalina's being too friendly. Let's turn back over here. <laughs> Look at that. What do you think? Here come all the other girls. I may have to get the water hose. Here they are. Now, of course, little Ginger, she's not going to breed until next year. Rosalina, I think she's just more interested in the food. So is Parsley. Carrots is just a tease. I may have to get all the girls back up. So five months from now would be the middle to end of February and I just don't want baby goats that early in the spring. So I'm wanting to wait at least another month before letting them breed. The kids are down there, they're trying to, they're trying to knock a stump down. I need to get the big boys back here and clean up some of this stuff that's got strewn around. Is it coming down? Huh? Are you knocking it down? Yeah, we got to Rosalina is relieving herself. You're timbering it? Yeah, even though it's already been Is that your way of saying you're knocking it down? Yeah. All right. Hey. Look at the camera and say bye. bye. That was very enthusiastic, Jeremiah. Try again. No. I'm just trying to dab one. Should I? Should no. I try to dab one? 